Hi everyone and welcome to another marvelous video. Tracing back to the history of the Marvel Universe, the Celestials were one of the oldest races to have ever existed in the universe. They were created by the first firmament, who was also known as the embodiment of the very first universe. The Celestials made visits to planets, aka the Celestial Hosts, to understand the lower life forms and judge them. In today's video, we will be exploring the story of such a Celestial known as the Progenitor. The Progenitor was an extremely powerful cosmic being and had nearly wiped out all living beings from the Earth. So without further delay, let us dive into today's video. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Progenitor Celestial Origins The Progenitor made his first appearance in Avengers Volume 8, Issue 3, and his story was narrated by Loki to a restrained Captain America. Going by the plot of the issue, Loki has pulled off his tricks yet again, and this time he has unleashed the wrath of the Dark Celestials on Earth. Recalling his father's story about the Dark Celestial Zagreb, and how he was defeated by the combined efforts of the Stone Age Avengers and Odin a million years ago, and buried deep within the Earth, Loki planned on finding the Dark Celestial for himself. He unearthed Zagreb, awakened him, and freed him from his confinements. Following this, he summoned the Dark Celestials and facilitated their arrival on Earth to purge the planet. While the Avengers confronted the Dark Celestials, Loki captured Captain America and took him to the bottom of the Arctic Ocean at the North Pole, where the Progenitor was resting and began narrating its story. According to Loki, the Progenitor was an Alpha Celestial. Billions of years ago, the Progenitor was attacked by the Horde, an insect-like race serving the Fulcrum. Infected by the Horde, Progenitor arrived on Earth and died a painful death, following which fluids began oozing from his deceased body. These noxious necrofluids, which percolated the Earth's surface, forever altered the future of Earth's evolution. Loki explained, that the alternation was the sole reason why the planet witnessed superhumans and mutants. The progenitor's corpse remained unmoved and unattended until one million years ago, when Celestial Zagreb arrived on Earth in search of the deceased Celestial. He found the progenitor's corpse infested by millions of horde bugs, but before he could do much, the horde soon infected him as well. However, all this while the Horde had also evolved and instead of killing Zagreb, it deranged him and made him a dark celestial. Zagreb was then defeated by the prehistoric Avengers and Odin. Marvelous Story Arcs of Progenitor Progenitor becomes Avengers Headquarters Following the events of Loki summoning the Dark Celestials on Earth to purge the planet, the deranged Celestials wretched havoc globally. The combined efforts of the Avengers fell short even after Black Panther and Captain Marvel joined the team. Finally, the tables turned when Ghost Rider Roberto Reyes possessed the corpse of a dead Celestial and unleashed unimaginable power, and Tony summoned his godkiller, MK II, which was orbiting around Mars. Black Panther and Captain Marvel charged themselves with the same energy as that of the Horde and focused on crushing the insects. Thor and She-Hulk ate the blood of Ymir, which gave them immense power and made them as huge as the giant Celestials. Together, they managed to defeat the Dark Celestials and the final host while Doctor Strange took down and restrained Loki. The resurrected first celestial host brought forth the corpse of the progenitor from the depths of the Arctic Ocean and gave it as a gift to the Avengers, stating that the progenitor does not deserve to be left buried and should rise tall above the ground. It then served the Avengers as their new headquarters. Progenitor's corpse was later refurbished by Wakandan technology with the aid of technicians from Alpha Flight, which turned it into an Avengers mountain. This was, however, not well received by Eternal Ajak, who believed it to be a disgrace to their god. She tried attacking Ghost Rider, but it was hindered owing to her comrade, Makari's last moment intervention. Later, due to the urgent need to learn about the Deviants, Ajak and Makari infiltrated the Avengers Mountain and tried communicating with the dead Celestial. Performing a ritual, Ajak summoned the Ghost of Progenitor, but the 
spirit refused to speak to her. The Eternal summoned a special weapon and managed to inflict pain on the ghost and force it to answer. But despite her efforts, she could not obtain any information about the Deviants. Events of the Judgment Day Judgment Day is one of the most cataclysmic events of the Marvel Universe. It was a war declared by the Eternals on the mutants of Earth. The Avengers were also part of it, and they fought alongside the mutants to stop the Eternals. Written by Kieran Gillen, the onset of Judgment Day was introduced in AXE, Eve of Judgment Volume 1, Issue 1, published in July 2022. The mutants on Earth were no more at war against each other or the humans. They made the sentient island of Krakoa their new home and were relatively at peace with the humans compared to their decade-long struggle against being prosecuted and divided. One of the unique aspects of their new world was the Resurrection Protocol. The Resurrection Protocol was a combination of technology and mutant powers, which allowed every mutant who had ever existed to be resurrected into a new body. Hence, they were technically immortal. They sought to keep it a secret, but as showcased in Jerry Duggan's X-Men Volume 6, Issue 12, veteran reporter Ben Urich revealed the news to the world via Daily Bugle. Meanwhile, a newly resurrected Druig killed Thanos and became the Prime Eternal. In hopes of reuniting and strengthening all the Eternals, he asked the machine to provide provide him with information about the location of the excessive deviation. The machine highlighted Lumeria and the island of Krakoa. Druid considered the immortal mutants as an extreme deviation and sought to carry out the principles of Eternals of excessive extermination deviation, which was previously counseled to him by an imprisoned Uranos. Druid led the Eternals to go on a war against the mutant nation of Krakoa. The Avengers intervened but taking down Eternals was still more than any ordinary challenge. Ajak and Makari formulated a plan. They abducted Mr. Sinister and recruited Tony Stark to revive the Progenitor, which was then the Avengers Mountain. They finally managed to resurrect the deceased Celestial and also changed its programming so that it would align itself with their moral principles and ideals. However, Progenitor, upon waking up, concluded that humanity had failed and declared that every individual on the planet had 24 hours to prove themselves more good than evil or else he would destroy the world. Judging humanity unworthy, the progenitor demanded the machine that is Earth to self-destruct. However, the machine rejected the demand, following which Fastos quickly reset it so that the progenitor could not cause it to explode. By then, every superhero on the planet, along with Ajak and Makari, came together as one and united the themselves with one goal to stop the annihilation of their world. X-Men, Mr. Sinister, Tony Stark, Ajak, and Makari managed to infiltrate the progenitor's body and tried initiating a self-destruction program for the Celestial itself. While the progenitor began his judgment and killed humans on Earth, the heroes inside his body reached the core and managed to convince the progenitor that it was unworthy of itself. This resulted in the progenitor reverting his actions and undoing every being it had killed. Finally, it reverted to its dormant state as being the Avengers Mountain. Since then, the progenitor remained in its state but managed to communicate with Starbrand. Deathlock as Progenitor In Avengers Volume 8, Issue 54, published on March 16, 2022, we witnessed the Progenitor being manifested by Deathlock. The issue, written by Jason Aaron, showcased Deathlock suffering a fatal injury after being struck with Mjolnir by an evil version of Thor. Jane Foster tried carrying out surgery to save Deathlock, or what remained of him, but with no other option, she connected him to the Necrotech of the hollowed out progenitor. The efforts were successful, and Deathlock managed to pilot progenitor's body. Equipped with a celestial-sized Deathlock blaster, Deathlock joined the fight against an army of Doctor Doom variants and Mephisto at the God Quarry. 
The inconceivable powers of Progenitor. The Celestials were extremely powerful cosmic beings that were created by the first firmament, and Progenitor being one of them was no different. He possessed incredible power, which made him nigh omnipotent. He single-handedly took down all the superheroes of Earth without any difficulty. The Progenitor transcended his own existence as his consciousness existed before his birth and even after his death. He was aware of everybody's lives, their thoughts and deeds, and also claimed to know everyone's fate. The progenitor possessed telepathy, as well as technopathy, which helped him to communicate with all living beings and machines. Apart from such godlike powers, the progenitor could also create his avatars at will, which he showcased while creating one using ice and snow. He possessed powers of shapeshifting, as showcased by his ability to take different forms. While judging Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, he took the form of Gwen Stacy. At the end of Judgment Day, the progenitor also showcased his powers of resurrection. Before reverting back to the Avengers Mountain, he granted godlike powers to the Eternal Ajax, which unveiled his ability to bestow powers upon others. However, despite having such huge arrays of power, the progenitor did fall to the Horde. The original progenitor was killed by the Horde infection, which signifies the Horde as one of his fatal weaknesses. After the progenitor was awakened and reprogrammed by the combined efforts of the X-Men, Eternals, Mr. Sinister, and Tony Stark, there were several built-in weak spots. The node on the chest of the progenitor, if destroyed, could take the Celestial with a massive explosion capable of destroying the entire Northern Hemisphere. Marvelous verdict. So finally, we come to the end of our video, and we hope you have liked our content. The Celestials were created by the legendary Jack Kirby and showcased as the creators of life. The reason behind having mutants and superheroes on Earth was beautifully stitched with the incident of Progenitor dying and spewing his infected body fluids into the planet. The concept of the Progenitor will forever remain evergreen in the stories of Marvel, as the being is known to be beyond on the concept of life and death. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!